Tell me what you want me to tell you. Well, we're uh, we're here on a podcast. We're on Mammy's first podcast, everybody. So if you don't know who Mammy is, you probably not watch the channel a lot. That's Mammy. That's my grandma. How old are you? About 100, 120? 147? No. I'm 85. <laughs> That's two more than 83, ain't it? Yeah. Anyways, that's Mamie. We're going to have her on today. She turned 87. 85. Oh. You, she turned really old pretty soon. Or yeah. Or very recently, I guess. At the time of this recording, it's soon. It's probably not going to go up as soon as we record it, but at the time, when was your birthday? June the 6th, 36. All right. So that's like before World War II for you guys who aren't putting those together. And But you turned 85. Not very long ago, but like I was saying, this isn't going up the same day we record it, so this is actually pre-recorded. Anyways, it was recently Mammy's birthday. We're going to get into that here in a second, but for you guys who don't know Mammy, this is Mammy. If you, you watch any of my videos on the main channel, just type in Kendall Gray. Ken, type, go type in Kendall Gray Mammy. There's a bunch of videos. Mammy is my grandma. She's uh, she's just an, she's just an old woman. That's, that's pretty much all it is, ain't it? Yeah, that's right. Just an old woman. So what you've been on my channel quite a bit. For you guys who have seen the channel a lot, you'll you know that. A lot of people say that the Mammy videos is their favorite. What do you think about that? I think it's nice. Just nice? Wonderful. What what do you think about it more than just it's wonderful? What do you think about the people who say that you're the best videos? You. I think it's good. Just good? Is that all, are you speechless or something? No, I just think it's wonderful that I can be and that, that I'm like that, like, like it. Let me ask you another question. Have you ever been on a podcast before? No. Do you know what a podcast is? Yes. You do? Uh-huh. Do you know how long this is? this has potential to go on for? Yeah. How long? Probably hours. We'll probably keep it around one hour. That's probably about average. Out of all the videos you've been in, what's your favorite one, though? The one I uh, killed a deer in. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. That was a good one, wasn't it? Uh-huh. You killed a deer. For you guys, for those of you guys who don't know, we actually took Mamie deer hunting this fall, or last fall, and she actually killed a deer with a bow. It was a crossbow. And we're going to give you guys a little behind the scenes of what it was like. What was you thinking whenever the first time I told you we were going to get you a deer? Because I, well, I, I told you that a decent little time in advance, didn't I? I thought, ah, uh, he's out of his mind. What did you think I was going to do? Did you even think I had a plan? I didn't think you'd do it. Did you, even think, did you even think twice about it? No. You didn't? Wow, that's sad. What did you think whenever time started ticking on and I kept telling you that we're going to get you a deer with a crossbow? Had you ever shot a crossbow? No. I could tell. That was the first. I could tell. She, uh, we decided it was going to be hard for her to obviously, you know, kill a deer. So we took her out practicing the day before, right? Right. And we let her shoot the crossbow by herself, like aiming it and everything. Tell us a little bit about that. What was your thought process whenever you were shooting it yourself? <laughs> I shot it well. I asked you afterwards, and you was like, I didn't even aim. Well, I went way up in, uh, in the woods. Did, did, you, did you see the target in the scope? No. <laughs> that could have, I don't know, Mamie. Mamie just shot. She basically hit I fired. Just, I just shot it. What was you expecting? Nothing. You did, what do you mean nothing? I didn't expect ever killing a deer i'm talking about shooting that random arrow did you expect it to hit the target i didn't think i could <laughs> what about and then after you were, we actually got out there deer hunting we killed one the first hunt within like the first two hours what do you think about that was you starting to think that there wasn't going to show up because i didn't think they was going to show up as soon as we got there we sat down, and we looked way out in the field, but it was way past crossbow range, and there was a deer, right? Do you remember that? Yeah, and then they come in backwards. Yeah, they started coming in from behind us, and what would you think? 
You started yelling at me and telling me there was deer. Yeah. And they looked right at us, but luckily they didn't care somehow. And I just pulled the bow and uh, shot it. And I didn't think I'd hit it. I thought I'd just be shooting. Well, you <laughs> yeah. remember what happened, right? Yeah. What happened? I hit that deer right in the Before side. That. Before that. Yeah. You missed. Yeah. So what we did was since during target practice, we actually let I actually let her aim it, and then she didn't aim it. So we decided, hey, what if I hold it? What if I aim it and everything? Basically, me being a human tripod, and then her just go in and pull the trigger. So that's what we did. It's just the, it's the same thing as someone locking in on one of those super stable tripods, except I was the tripod. I was just holding it still, making sure it's aiming, then she came through, pulled the trigger. The first time, I was on aim pretty good, and she came through, and instead of pulling the trigger like this, you can listen, maybe you can figure out. She went, she like jabbed, almost punched it, like actually punched the gun, and we missed the deer, right? And right. it was a crossbow, and I only brought two arrows. That's a really bad habit I have. I don't actually take much ammo or arrows. That's happened to me a lot. Don't do that. If you're a hunter out there, take more than bullet. Take take a lot of bullets, and if you're arrows, take at least four. Because I was actually deer hunting this year, and I saw a big, not a big buck, but a buck. And I shot at it, and I missed but unfortunately, that was the only arrow I took, and he stood there, and if I'd had another arrow, I could have literally killed him. But I didn't. I didn't have another arrow. It's almost the same situation with this, except I brought one extra arrow. So I only brought two arrows, and that probably wasn't a good idea at all. And since it was a crossbow, I didn't really plan on having to reload it, because with a crossbow, well, let's start off with, with a gun. You shoot a bullet, you miss, you reload it put another bullet in you're good to go with a crossbow you have to cock the whole thing you have to literally grab or try to reset the entire string and so i just had to straight like do it in my arms and my feet and it was crazy i don't know how i did it but somehow i pulled back that 370 feet per second crossbow and cocked it with my hands and my foot but anyways we recocked it I aimed up on it again. That first doe that we shot at initially, it went, went ahead and walked off. And then there was like four does in a line. They were just coming. They were moving through. Pretty predictable. They do it all the time. It's just their normal movements. Anyways, the first doe comes in. We shoot. We miss. Second doe walks up, gets right into position. I do the same thing. I'm like, all right, Mammy, wait one second. She jerks the trigger. She somehow, like, I was not on aim at all. And then you jerk the trigger, and I guess you pulled it down on aim, and then she spine shot at it right in the half, right in the middle waist through the body, directly on the spine, paralyzed it. Then it actually went, it bounced down into both lungs and cut a hole in its lungs like that big. It died pretty quick. What'd you think? <laughs> I didn't know what to think. Had you ever been deer hunting before? No. That's the first time. You're. That's pretty good compared to most people. That's the first time I ever been, ever even been hunting. In general. Yes. So you're one for one with big game, too. Do you want to go hunting again? Maybe. What kind of hunting? <coughs> a deer hunting. You want to go deer again? Yeah. What about, what about like a, uh, I don't know, what else is there to hunt? I don't know, but you would like to go deer hunting again? We might see what we can do. We might actually get a pretty decent tripod this time instead of me. But one thing for sure, what's your second favorite video? I don't, rem don't remember them. What about the time where you crashed the mule? Then what? You crashed the mule. Oh. Yeah, that was bad, wasn't it? Yes. You almost, we almost died. <laughs> you were going full speed. Tell them what happened there. Well, I, I've never drove before, and I was, was driving, and I, I hit this truck. Mm-hmm. Why'd you hit the truck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was just going to. Going on driving and just hit that truck. And you, uh, you, you just, 
you grab, grab the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of rough. If for you guys who don't seen didn't see that video, that's called the Modern Day Cowboy. It was a really good video, but basically, I didn't have a driver. Okay, usually it, back then it was just me making the videos, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'd like, I got a new gun, right? It was a Chris Vector, so it was a really cool gun. If you like guns, you should definitely go watch that video. But I was like, I need a driver because I want to be passenger and shoot while we drive. So no one was available except Mammy. And so I was like, Mammy, can you drive in a straight line? I tried to. She done okay. Until she hit the truck, okay? She, she, we... We got too comfortable, I guess. We tried to get cool wiggle movements, and we tried to start doing curves, and then we tried to go in between two big trucks. It was, uh, we started veering off to one way, and she didn't, she didn't turn left, and she didn't hit the brake either. We just kept going full speed into the truck. Then last second, I barely whipped, whipped the steering wheel away from the truck, and we still hit the truck. You know that if I hadn't done that, we would have hit the truck we sure directly. Would. Maybe at about one could have been hurt. At 20 miles an hour, which is pretty good. One of us, we would have both probably been hurt. Yeah. Because we would have been, we would went, we'd either drove through the truck and weird pieces stuck out and killed us, or we would have stopped immediately at the truck and we would have both flung out. But we was wearing seatbelts, so we would probably just bent over, which would have still hurt, and we'd both probably smacked our heads on the dash thing. Yeah. Went through that windshield. We didn't have a windshield. We didn't? Mm-mm. I thought we did. No. We had seatbelts on, but we would have still... There's no airbags. Oh, we was in the mule, wasn't we? Yeah, Mammy. I thought we was in that... Uh, Defender? Yeah. Well, in the in the Defender, we have a windshield. She drove that, but luckily she didn't wreck that one. You did get a little speedy though. <laughs> what about um? What's another cool video you've been in that you remember? I can't remember all them videos. Let me think of my favorite. My favorite's probably the deer, but we've already talked about that one. What's another video? And do you like being in videos? Not really. Why? I don't like to be showed up. What do you mean showed up? I mean, <coughs> let everybody see me. Why? Because I'm old. So? What's that? What does that matter? I don't, I mean, I can't get around good. Well, they don't care. You're on a one-hour-long podcast, so if you don't want people to see you, you're in the wrong spot. What you thinking, Mammy? I was just looking around, thinking about these pictures on the wall you got over there. Yeah. Let me ask you a question that I know the answer to, but I want to see if you'll tell them. Okay. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Uh, that little boy in... Man, <laughs> I think it's um, Ace Family Homestead. Yeah. It's something like that. <laughs> Let me check it out. Um, no, um, I forgot. Uh, the name I mean, beside of you. No, not You're... beside of me. I'm number. I'm like number three. It's something. Let me see. It's that little uh, blonde-headed boy, and there's a girl and a man and. It's Arms Family Homestead. Let me see. Is this them? Yeah. Yep. Mamie, like, Mamie likes the Arm family, Arms Family Homestead. Why do you like them so much? I don't account of that little boy. I like to watch him fish and catch fish. And, what and makes you specifically like them? I, I just like them. I don't know why. Do you like the things they do? Yeah. Do you like the things they do more or <coughs> the people that they are more? I like the things they do, like the goats and the chickens and the pigs. And mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing that they do? 
feed the cat, uh, them uh, goats and uh, the stock. What's your favorite video that you like of theirs? Do you remember what which one you really I like? I don't remember. I've watched about all of them. Really? How yeah. often do you watch them? About every time I watch the BT. How often's that? Every night or two. Really? Mm -hmm. So you get on the iPad every night or two and watch them? Yeah. All right. Who's your number two YouTuber? I know the answer to that. And he used to be number one. I don't remember. Braden Price. That black-headed boy. Yeah. You like Braden Price? Yeah. Let me find him. Let me refresh your memory. He is this guy. Let me see. That net that you went over there when you bought that. Uh, yeah. That guy. Let's see. You recognize any of those thumbnails? He's kind of small in yeah. them. Yeah. You, like, you liked him a lot. What happened to him? Arms family took him over? Yeah. And then where's me? Well, I like you best. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you watch me the most? I do. I watch you every night. Really? Yes. What's the latest video I posted? Uh, you've got a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Which one's the last one you watched? I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Easy now, Mammy. You know that whenever you touch that, it makes noise. That's your microphone. Oh. Do you think they look cool? Yeah. Do you like the blue thing on it? Yeah. I like that, too. That was a thing I had to do. Anyways, those are your favorite YouTubers. Who else you watch? You watch anybody else? No. Really? So it's mainly just Arms Family Homes, too? Yeah. Pretty much just them? Just them and you and uh, I, I watch that boy sometimes. Braden Price? Yeah. You know he was just up here last week. Did you, you, did you see him? No. Huh. Well... Is that the one that? Uh, no. Anyways, um, is that it's the not. one that uh, you uh, went over when you bought that? Uh, yeah. Whenever I went over to North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where I bought the Defender. Yeah. You know he has a bunch of those. You know how many toys he has like that? No. He's got one Defender like mine, except it's four doors, and has doors and windshield wipers and all that big stuff. Big nice thing. Then he's got, um, he's got a bunch of dirt bikes. At least, at least four, at least four. That's just what I know of. I watched him when he went uh, uh, on that dirt bike. Which one? Uh, uh, him and some other guy went uh, down that road, and then they went through a bottom. Uh, Here. No. No. <coughs> there. There. He's also got, Braden also has, um, how many four-wheelers? Oh, my gosh. He's got at least, he's got three really nice, pretty much brand new ones that I know of, which is two Can-Ams and um, one Polaris, which you don't know what that means. But, and then he's got like three, Four-wheelers like Uncle's got. He's got a bunch. And then you know what he does? What? He just drives them in ponds. And, uh... Puts big wheels on them. Do you, uh... Does he, uh... I like him when he takes his girlfriend with him. Mm. And I liked him when they were shooting them watermelons. Mm. <laughs> Heard that, Braden Price. So you mean his old girlfriend... I didn't know he had him here. Should have watched the last podcast, Mammy. He got a new one? I suppose so. He don't have that one anymore. <laughs> Did you like him? No, I just uh, don't they was his girlfriend. Mm, you didn't? Okay. Anyways, um, there's something else I was going to ask you. You mean he was up here last week? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. He was here for about two days? I didn't know that. I'm surprised you didn't see him on the porch. I didn't. I don't know. That's surprising, actually. He was here for two days. We rode and stuff all the time. 
He didn't ride his four wheel or nothing, did he? Or mm-hmm. Up by the house? Yeah, all around here. Well, I didn't see him. Yeah, I know. Anyways, um, what's something else we's going to talk about? There's Mammy's favorite YouTubers. Unfortunately, I'm number three on the list, but at least I'm on the list sometimes. Um, you know that you turned 85 recently, right? June the 6th. And you know that I had people send you stuff if they wanted to, right? Yes. You do know that? Well, no, I didn't know it. Well, you just said you did. What happened there? I mean, I thought I uh, have happy birthday cards and yeah, yeah. They sent. Anyways, for you guys who uh seen on the main channel, I told you guys when Mammy's birthday was, and that if you wanted to send her anything, that we were going to do a thing where we opened it. Now is that time. So, Mammy, I got you some stuff over here that um you can open it up. But before we do that, we're going to talk about this podcast sponsor, and it is not really anybody that fancy. It's just kindlegrade1.com slash shop. Okay, I'm going to pull out some stuff because we actually need a knife to open up the uh, mail anyhow. So I figured, you know, why not just let kindlegrade1.com slash shop sponsor the video. But anyways, I got you two knives that you can choose from, and these are knives that are on the website right now, kindlegrade1.com slash shop or Probably first link in the description. The first knife, if you're audio only, you just have to imagine. Can't really help you much right there. But uh, the first knife is going to be the KG Pocket Knife. We'll uh, just check it out right here. This one's an American flag color. But pretty much all the colors are now restocked in the KG Pocket Knife. This thing is uh, our, probably our best-selling item. Cause, and, I mean, they're worth it, too. Super good. You can check that out. See what you think about it, Mammy. We'll let you be looking at that. And in the meantime, watch out for your microphone. In the meantime, I'll be uh, showing you guys the... Um, this is the KG Survival Knife, actually. It comes with a Kdex sheath. That's nice. Yeah, it is a nice knife. And then this one is a full tank, so it's perfect for survival. The handle can't break off or anything like that. Big old blade, stout blade, where you can baton wood if you need to. And then all at the same time, you do have a Kydex sheath. That will clip onto not only your belt, but whatever. This thing does, you do not have to have a belt because it's just like a clip that'll clip onto anything. Um, uh, if you don't know what I mean, just go to the website and check it out. But this knife, I'm going to say, you probably don't want this one to open a box. Because this one has about five inches of razor sharp blade. That one only has about three to three and a half. And uh, that's a less chance of dying. So, yeah, I mean, if you want one of these knives, they're both in stock. KindleCray1.com slash shop. But without further ado, for real though, let's get started into this video. Or not into the video, but into opening it up. What do you think about that knife, Mammy? I think that's Be a nice Be careful. That blade is razor sharp. I know. Like, you will start bleeding, and we'll probably have to end the podcast early if you make a wrong move with that knife. They're razor sharp. I might actually open the packages for you because they're actually razor sharp. Go ahead and close it first because there'll be people get mad. She don't know how to close the knife. All right. Let me see it. Here. Just, um, just push it down. Push it down. Just so that people don't get superstitious that... One person to open a knife and someone else closes it. Some of y'all, do you believe in that, Mammy? That it's bad luck if someone opens his knife and someone else closes it? No, that's just old tales. That's what I think, too, but just in case people don't, I don't know, get freaked out or anything. Anyways, I don't really have a great way to hold this microphone. Mammy's microphone's doing pretty good over there. But I do want to say this also, while I'm opening this first package, which is coming from... um. Tate Olson. This is a small package, but it says it's two kennel gray and then A T T N Mammy. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Do you know what that means? No. All right, I'll go ahead and open you up your first package. Make sure nothing's in it, and just hey, check this out. Just in case you don't believe how sharp these are. Boy, that's sharp. That's ain't what it? I'm saying. It cut through two pieces of thick paper and two layers of bubble wrap, just like it was nothing. So, just saying, yeah. Anyways, there's your package, Mammy. You can go ahead and be opening that. In the meantime, I will tell you guys something, and I just forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, I guess we'll wait and let Mammy open it. What you thinking, Mammy? All these people took time out of their day and money out of their pockets to send you something that they thought you would like. I think that is wonderful. That was really nice of them. Uh I will say this too, guys. We do have quite a bit of packages here. We may not have time to open them all, but Mammy is going to read every single one of them. So don't worry about that just in case yours doesn't get unlocked or uh, unboxed or anything like that. Just know that Mammy's 100% going to read them. 
Oh, look, look at that. That's nice. That's a bracelet, isn't it? Yes. You going to put it on right now? Yeah. We'll leave the tags right on it. Or you want me to get the tag off? Or you? Yeah. All right. Here, take it off and hand it to me real quick. And then read whatever that letter thing says. Here we go. i got to be careful cutting this thing off. I don't want to accidentally cut the thing. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. It says, Dear Mammy with Kendall, I have brought you so much joy to our family. You are sure a good sponsor. Hmm. What's that word? Um, sport. Sport. We look forward to seeing you. I can't read all that. <laughs> Here you go, Mammy. Here's your bracelet. You Let me read see what it, it for me. All right, I'll try. I ain't too good at reading. Um, you're such a good sport. We look forward to seeing many more of your videos. May God bless you on your birthday. And that's from Tate's mom. Tate said, Dear Mammy, your videos are awesome. You need to go squirrel hunting and turkey hunting with a cow. I hope you have a happy birthday. P.S. I hope you like the bracelet. I do. Do you I know like what he was talking about whenever he said you need to go turkey hunting with a cow? No. Hmm. Must have skipped out on that video, didn't you, Mammy? Huh? Mm-hmm. That's a video that you skipped out on. Yep, that was. Here's a big box. We'll dive right on into it. It is from, this is almost like a mail time in podcast form, so hopefully you guys are liking this. This one's from Gavin Long. Guess where he's from? Where? Guess. Where do you think a guy named Gavin would live? What state? New York? Nope. Texas. Texas. Yep. Mm. All right, Mamie, there you go. Oh, man, that's actually pretty cool. I mean, it's very useful for what you got. Your lifestyle. This is almost like a mail time. Well, I actually done said that, but that's okay. Yeah. Mamie, wait, get closer to your microphone. You got to lean back. What is that? This is for my puppy. Hold it up for the, that camera can see it. This camera. Other camera. Yeah, that one. Big dog bone. Yeah. What else you got? <coughs> Here, you want me to open that one? Or it's just paper. You can probably get that. Big mammy, son. Oh, snap. Look at that. Yeah. I got, I got one like that. You did. I'm not sure if it's from a... Oh, that one might actually be to me. Look on the back of it. It's got a... Oh, yeah, that's to me, mammy. Oh. Yeah, let me see that. Let's see. Is What's that dog bone on say on it? What's the dog bone say on it? Is this one's two Kindle. That's pretty epic. That's like wood. That's like burnt into Happy the wood. Happy birthday, baby. Yeah. So they got, yeah. They got you the dog bone because for your dog. Yeah. I'll set that right there for now. We'll set this here for now. Open that up. I said let her in here. All right. I'll open it up right here in a second. This one is two Mammy from KC and Cletus. You know it's something good if it's coming from somebody named Cletus. You know anybody named Cletus? No. Wow. You know everybody, don't you, Mamie? I forgot a lot of people. There you go. And in the meantime, I'll be opening up this letter. What do you think about podcasting so far, Mamie? Huh? What do you think about podcasting so far? Happy birthday, baby. I right, fit. This is a gold quarter. Is that a quarter or a nickel? Let me check that out real quick. Um, that is a gold d dollar. That's a dollar. I don't know, Mammy. I'm going to take it off and find out. The toothpaste, the toothbrush. Hey, there we go. You need that, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I, I think them. this is a dollar. This is a dollar, Mammy. Is it? Yeah, your net worth is spiking right now. That's crazy, ain't it? 
Here, you got that too, though. The papers. Just important. Uh oh. <laughs> what you thinking about all that, Mammy? I don't know what to think. I did, this has sure surprised me. Really? Yeah. I don't smoke, but I can lo uh, use their lighter. <laughs> I guess so. Light it up one time. What's it got on it? Got any designs on it or something? No. Let me check that out. It's a cool lighter. It's a small lighter. Let me see if it lights. Maybe out of gas or out of fuel. What's that? Um, that is a. Uh oh. Well, I don't know where it is. It yes. is. Um. Yes. Oh, this is. I don't know. I think it's a bomb. And they wanted you to light the bomb. Oh. We'll do that later. We'll do that. We'll save it. We'll, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that later. Not right now. Not inside. That's cool. Got a bomb. That's pretty good. I've been sent a bomb before. Not many, but one. What do you think about mail time? It's good. <laughs> Wonder what this is. That's a bait pack. Does it have his name on it anywhere? Huh? I don't see it. All right. Well, that's okay. Um, we'll move on to the next package because we do have quite a few, and we do kind of need to get through them pretty quick. There, it's going to be really hard to get through all the packages. That's what I was saying earlier. We're definitely not going to be able to get through all the packages, but that's okay because, you know, Mammy's getting them all, and you guys are getting to see her open up a few of them at least. All right. Oh, my headphones are keep getting stuck. All right, Mammy, ready for the next one? You can yeah. be putting up that lighter and the bomb real quick, and I'll be opening up this package for you right here. This one's a pretty big one. This one's coming from... Oh. Oh, this is crazy. This one's just straight up coming from nobody. Anonymous, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Who bought this for Mammy? Let me see what it says. This is from Gwen Pierce. It said, enjoy your gift. Happy birthday, Mammy. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Why did they get Mammy that? Mammy doesn't need this. Mammy's going to die right here. <laughs> this may be the end of Mammy right here. Don't make any sudden movements with that thing. What you... No. <laughs> One thing I do want to say while Mammy is opening that, the full Mammy podcast where we do an actual interview of Mammy... What soon. is this? It is a knife set. So if anyone breaks into your house, you can slice and dice. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, ain't it? Yeah. That's... Mamie, you needed those. I sure did. Those are good ones, too. Those are the cuisine, qu cousin, cu I don't Look, know. Look, there's the... a big. I big know, Mamie. Guy. There's eight of them. Wait, no, there's 12 of them. And there's a bunch of different sizes. You want me to open that up right now? We like that. Of course, we're not sponsored by Cuisine Art, but obviously, if you want to buy a good knife, you know where to go. Kendall Gray, one of the shop for wrestling in the description. But anyways, this is a 12-piece knife set. You get, each knife comes with a matching blade guard. So you have five knives? Let me check this out. No, you have six knives and six knife covers. Check it all in. Look at all them. See all of them? Those are all your knives, mammy. What are you possibly going to do with this many knives? I don't know. Let me check this out. This is cool. <laughs> What's your favorite knife so far? Huh? Oh, that? that yeah. Bit, the biggest, biggest. Yeah, Mamie thing. likes her big knives. Here you go. You can move that a little bit. Let's see. Move it a little bit closer to you. Me and Mamie's not professional podcasters. I think this is episode um, six, we'll I think. We'll cut the deer up with that. Yeah, man. Hey, you can, if you use this little one, this 6.5 utility knife, Yeah. you don't even need a bow. You just jump out of a tree and stab it. That's what I'm talking about, ain't it? Yeah. I'm. It, that's, a, that's solid right there. I like that. And I know you like that because, or do you like that? I guess I should ask first. I like it. I know you like, we're in a basement, so you're going to hear all kinds of noises. You're going to hear footsteps. We're actually not in a basement. Let me take that back. We're in an underground federal bunker, okay? Makes it sound cooler. We have, um, I don't, you could listen, just listen. Hear the footsteps? 
I was a trapper to get gum out. All right. We got footsteps down here. We got wood cracking. We got water. We have weird air. Listen closely. You can probably hear a dehumidifier. But we're in a remote set, okay? Because Mamie can't climb stairs, okay? So we're in an underground bunker. Federally. Area 50. Oh, what you think about the gun, Mamie? Is it pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty good. Mamie. Um, uh, I got bad news. What? You may have to say that for later. Because we're on a podcast. Oh. They probably don't want to hear you chew your gum the whole time. I hold it in my mouth. All right, we'll try. I guess. Anyways, um, if you guys do want to see the full Mammy podcast where we talk about her life and all of her ideas and stuff like that, um, we're, we'll do that later. Not right now, though. This is kind of a special one because it's um, her birthday, and she kind of needs to open these before it's December. So, anyway, are you down to come on again? Come on, broadcast? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, Mammy's coming on again. This one is from Oller. I don't know. Oller. It's also also from Texas. Here you go. Open that one. You might really like that one. If you don't like it, I'm gonna I'll probably steal it from you because I like it. Oh my goodness, there's more than I thought. Check yeah. that out, Mammy. That's awesome. It is. You know Look. what that is? Yeah. That's a pot holder. Yeah. Where you can set your pots and stuff, your pans, it's hot and stuff. I like those a lot. What are you thinking so far, Mammy? You having any bright ideas? Anything you need, want to get out of your system? I just don't know what to think. Well, I'm, well, well, what about that? I'm so happy. <laughs> What's it say? Happy birthday from... How do you think someone would say that name? I don't know. O H L E R. We're not exactly sure. We're from Kentucky. We ain't that smart. That's uh. That's what. In Texas, ain't it? Yeah, that is in Texas. That's crazy, ain't it? On to the next one, Mammy. Let me go out and pull another big box. Actually, let's pull out a medium-sized bag. This one's coming from Levi Logue. I lost my knife. All right, here, I found it. Bit. Levi Logue, what you got? Oh, Mammy, I think I just cut some of the letter. It'll be okay, I suppose. Oh, Mammy, you'll love this one. Here you go. That's a good one right there. It's food, so uh, if it's food, are you willing to eat it live on air? I don't know. I, I don't know. Let me see first. Do you want to eat it live? No. Hmm. Dang. Well. Oh. Oh, wow. That's some fan art right there. That, that's like me. That is you, Mamie. Yeah. Show the camera. Other, yeah. Yeah, show them. That's pretty accurate, I think. You think that's pretty accurate? Yeah. That is pretty accurate. I will say so myself. If you guys want to send Mammy anything else, maybe you got a late birthday present or you didn't know about it, totally fine. If you really want to send Mammy something, you can. If you don't have to, you don't have to. Obviously, if you don't want to. P.O. Box 724, Barberville, Kentucky 40906. That or or it's also down in the link in the description. It's not a link, but address down in the description. You can check it out if you want to. Sorry, it went through the paper. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm happy I was able to participate in Mamie's birthday. I love the vids, Kendall. God bless you and your family. Hope you like the drawing. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Grey Gang for life. Mamie should wear a t-shirt. I made a vid on this. Go check it out. His channel name's Off-Road Trucker. All right, now do you want to eat the food he sent you? Show him what you got. What is that? I eat that for supper. So. Really? You like sardines? Yep. Really? You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Mamie likes sardines. Send her as many as you can. We need to get about four years worth of sardines waiting for you. You'll never run out of food. If, if you tell, if you can tell the Grey Gang, these people are powerful, okay? This is the most powerful amount of people I've ever seen in my life. They will send you so many sardines. 
It is amazing. Heard it here first, guys. The P.O. box I just mentioned. We need to flood Mammy's house. Flood Mammy's house with sardines. It will be it'll be on the second channel. We need to get Mammy at least four hundred thousand cans of sardines before the end of twenty twenty one. Can we do it? You like sardines? Yeah. We will literally get Mammy so many sardines that she get, will live on them for the rest of her life. Which, let's be honest, may or may not be that long. You agree with that, Mammy? That's right. It just is what it is, okay? It's just, just the Lord's will. Do you have any predictions on your death date? That's kind of, that's not really dark, is it? No. I don't think it is. I think it just is what it is. You got any predictions? Oh, uh, what? Your death date. It's just ever how long the good Lord wants to keep me I'm here. I'm going to say 60 more years. Yeah. Rough estimate. Hope. That'll make you almost 300 years old. This one is from Mammy's Maidens, the Hicks family from Ohio. You have family up in Ohio, don't you? Huh? You have family up in Ohio? Yeah. Well, I guess I do too, since I'm your grand boy. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to let you open it from right here. Just lean back as you open it, and just don't lean forward. There you go. Just open it just like that, and you'll be in good shape. Let me see. Oh, look. What is it? Happy birthday. It's... Put Same. it on. Here, oh. let me let me open them. I'll put them... You can put them on. So far, are you liking your birthday presents? Yes. From the Grey Gang. Or I guess yeah. in this case, they're more of the Mammy Gang than Grey Gang. Fun fact, Mammy's last name is not Grey, and you guys will not know her last name. So that's just something you guys will have to know that you don't know. Here you go, Mammy. Put these on. They look, you look, they make you look fly. You know what that means? Look at that camera straight in front and center. Give a good smile, big thumbs up. I can see better in these. Than your other glasses? Yeah, I can see. I can see the picture in that camera there. Really? Whoever sent these, which who was it again? It was the Hicks family. You actually just gave Mamie better glasses than her prescription. So if you ever see Mamie again, expect to probably see her in those because, well, she can see better. Look at that camera right there and give them a big thumbs up. Hold up. Move your arm down a little bit. That way they can see you right there. Boom. You cut that out, you got an instant meme. Whoever wants it, you make whatever you want to. Let's see. Let's see what this letter says. Dear Kendall and Mammy, Mammy, thanks for being a good sport and being on Kendall's channel. We look forward to watching you and you make us laugh. Loved watching your deer hunt. You did too. That was your favorite. That may or may not be their favorite too. Keep it up and happy birthday. That is their message to you, Mammy. What do you think about that? They also have family in Hazard. That's not very far away, is it? Uh-uh. We have one more gift for you today, Mammy. What do you think about that? <laughs> huh? I don't know. Mammy, what do you think about your birthday? You Happy birthday. I think it's... <clears throat> Well, there goes I that package. I thought everybody forgot me. Why would you say that? Well, I spent it by myself. You all was on vacation. That is true. BRB. Keep talking, Mammy. Say something. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Say something about your life. What you thinking? I, I dropped Mammy's final birthday present, so I went to pick it up. What you think about the, uh, give us your opinion on, uh, cryptocurrencies. You invested in any Bitcoin? No. What about Ethereum? You invested in Ethereum, any? Got any no. Doge? No. You ain't got no Dogecoin? No. What about Litecoin? You got Litecoin? Yeah. All right. Anyways, on to the last birthday present, but that doesn't mean that the podcast's over. We can still go. This is from, hmm, doesn't actually say... Simply uncaged gifts that may or may not mean that they sent you a live puppy in this box. 
<laughs> are you willing to eat whatever whatever is in this box on the podcast? According to what it is. If it is a if it is a puppy, are you down to eat it on the podcast? I suppose that depends on how fresh it is, don't it? Yeah. No, that's the wrong answer, Mammy. You ain't allowed to say that. <laughs> Anyways, oh, this one's actually gonna be. I don't know what this is actually. I don't know. I'll let you open it. It's your birthday present. There you go. Just open it. Yeah, st- st- lean back while you open it, and that'll be good. There you go. Oh, there we go. What we got? We got them poppers. Mm-hmm. Bubble wrap. Real nice. Real nice. Oh, oh. That's pretty cool. Whatever that is. Yeah, I hope it's makeup. Makeup? What do you use <laughs> makeup for? I don't. Mammy, oh, Mammy. Here, open it. Okay. Let me see. How do you open this? Dang, there's a lot of paper on this, Mammy. I know it. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of paper on this. Oh, no, it's right there. There you go. You can you can open the rest, I suppose. Mammy's liking this so much, we may just have to make her an, another birthday. We may just have to... Get her two and eight, two in one year. What is it? I don't know. A makeup case. Uh, Might be a bu- a bu- 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 Bible holder. Yeah. I, I don't know that. That's a very rough estimate. That's just a guess. It looks like it though. Yeah. Let's see it. You want me to open it out of that bag? Yeah. All right. All right. It is a. Oh my goodness, Mammy. Whoa, this is crazy. Whoa, this is cool. Let me figure out what this is. I, I'm i not sure exactly what it is. Um, It is. I think it is a Bible holder. I'm not 100% sure yet. It says, enjoy your gift. Happy 148th birthday. That grandson of yours is a nut. And does love you so. From... Gwen Pierce. We got another one from her, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, she's the one who's or yeah, she's the one that sent you the knives. Yeah. So you got two from her. That is cool. Yeah, I think this is a Bible holder. You can go ahead and open it up. Yeah, it definitely is. Also, uh, it says happy birthday, Mammy. God is love. KG and Mammy fan twenty twenty one. So they actually got that engraved on there. Yeah. Maybe uh, not engraved, but what I, did you call I zipped that? it and see what's inside. All right, we'll do that. We'll uh, go ahead and open it up for you right here. Do you like the color? Yeah. All right, let's see what's inside. Inside is just foam, but you put your Bible in here. What you think about that now? I love that. You going to use it? Yes, I will. I'll use it Sunday. There we go. I, when I go to church. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, and this part is like a folder, so you can put whatever you want to in there. Yeah. Or you, you can put your money in downside. Yeah, it? you can put all your all your racks, all your thousand dollar bands in there. Here we go. There it is, guys. I think I was holding it a little bit too low for you guys to see it, but right there it is. Really cool. Here you go, Mammy. Now you do have a few more cards in here, but we're we don't exactly have a ton of time left, so we're gonna end it off right here in just a second. But what do you have to say for yourself? Explain. Why did you turn 86? It's just as the good Lord's willing. The lo- good Lord let me live this long. Are you allowed, once you get that old, are you allowed to like skip a birthday if you want to? Are you like allowed? Yeah, I if guess. you wanted to, could you be 87? Yeah, if you, could if, be if 80. you wanted to, you could be how old you wanted to. You could probably say you're 88 and people wouldn't. Question it. Well, well, 89, people want to question it. Now, let's address a very um, uh, very popular question that I already know is in the comments. Mamie, the people are like, dude, I thought that you were 147. I thought you were 148, whatever. Technically, yes, but once you get to a certain age, you start counting down. Once you get to like 180... You start counting backwards. So she's already been to 180. We are now counting backwards. She's now at 84. Or 85. 85. Last year you was 86, right? 
and now yeah. we're just counting backwards. Then once you hit 80, you uh, you just go back up, and you just keep repeating the process. So Mamie's on her second term. Your next year, she'll be 84. So, yeah. What you think? What you think? Yeah, that's a good. That's actually a pretty good question. What you think, Grandma? Think of what? Grandmother. I just thank God for all of these presents and for the people that send them. I will say this: you do have a lot more letters down here, so there's a lot of things you can read. Yeah. How did you pull this by me? Huh? How did you pull this all by me? I mean, how did you get this without me knowing it? You want me to tell you how? Hi. You're too busy watching the Arms Family Homestead and you didn't watch the video where I told them to send you birthday presents. Oh. You want to be real? Because you don't watch my channel. I do, too. Ah, well, then how didn't you know about it, Mamie? You can't, well, you're telling I, on yourself. I can't get them, get the, up. Huh? I can't get you uh, up. Well, you can find the fam Arms Family Homestead. Well, they all know just in the way you snapped it. That's because you watch them all the time. Let me figure out where they're from. I don't, I, do you know where they're from? You probably know. Uh, Texas, I believe. I think it is, actually. What's your favorite gift? You, we know that you like them all, but which one do you think is your favorite? This. That's a pretty. That's pretty up there, right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to say the knives, just because you know I like knives. Yeah, and I like the knives too. Crazy thing is, those are from the fir same person. Yeah. I also like the sunglasses. I, I like all of it. I do too, and I really, I really like all of it. But I really I, like those uh, uh, things where you put the pots on. I do too. I like those a lot. I like Somebody them. took time to... Yeah, a lot okay, of time. Those are not took, easy. They put a lot of work in that. Those are not easy to do. Hand me one of them. Hand me the black one. I want the black one. Does it fold out, or is it just one big thing? What do you use the half for? What do you use the half one for? To grab, get whole hop skillets. To and, grab it? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, do you know how to do this? Yeah. You know how to do that? Then why don't you do it? Oh, the crochet, you mean? No, I can't. I can't. Why not? I just never could. Do you want to learn? I'd like to. Really? So what's this called? Crochet. What's knitting? What's the difference? Well, it's knitting and crocheting, too. Hmm. I guess this is be I'm confused. Knitting. Oh, tell us something about your life alert. We got any old people out there that are that are in the limbo of should they get a life alert or not? What should they? Should they get a life alert? Yeah. Why? Because they're a this lifesaver. Because uh, if you fall and nobody around, you can get in touch with somebody. Real quick, we'll say this is not sponsored by life yeah. alert, but we will send you the invoice later. Continue on. Well, I've fell several times, and uh, I've got hold of you and, and your mom and got uh, your uncle. Have and you ever fallen and can't get up? I can't get up when I fall. You need a dog that can pick you up. A dog? Like Steve. Yeah. You need a dog that can pick you up. And drive a car. I never did see a dog die, drive a car. Let me show you. I got a picture of one. I got a picture of like six. Dogs drive, dude. Steve can drive just about like you. So, dogs driving cars. You've never seen a car. A dri you never seen a car drive a dog. No. Nope. You've seen a dog drive a car. No. Nope. There's literally a picture of a pit bull driving a car right there. They can drive. They're pretty good at taxis. What do you think about your glasses? I love them. Put them on. I like them. Can you put them both on at the same time, or is that too uh -uh, hard? That makes sense. 
Mammy, I got a question for you. What's the next video we're doing? I don't know. You come up with it. You're the boss. Ever what you uh, come up with? Well, you tell me. What you thinking? What What should the next video? It's summer. It's hot. What do we do? What's the next video we do? We'll do something outside. You wanna do? You wanna go fishing? Yeah. Or uh, or what? Something outside. You wanna go uh, coon hunting? No, that 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 ain't it. Mm -hmm. I can't get out. You can't hunt raccoons. I can hunt them, but I can't get around. Well, yeah, that's a big part of it. Anyways, um, I, do you have any last words, Mammy? I want to thank all these good people for sending me my gifts. I really love them. Bet. Without further ado, guys. Thanks for watching the podcast. If you sent something, thanks for sending it. Thanks for being commenting below. And uh, you know what? Go ahead and comment below a good happy birthday to Mammy or whatever you want to say, big message, whatever. We're going to try to get Mammy at least 400,000 comments as well as 400,000 cans of sardines. What's up? We could use some sour bean, uh, sardines to fish with, too, can't we? Yep. Boom. Podcast is over.